Scripture and Reflection for Lent. I'm Mary Malloy, and this is Listening to God. Our scripture reading today is from Paul's first letter to the church in Corinth, 1 Corinthians 3, verses 1 through 15. These are the words of Paul. And so, brothers and sisters, I could not speak to you as spiritual people, but rather as people of the flesh, as infants in Christ. I fed you with milk not solid food, for you were not ready for solid food. Even now, you are still not ready, for you are still of the flesh. For as long as there is jealousy and quarreling among you, are you not of the flesh and behaving according to human inclinations? For when one says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos. Are you not merely human? What then is Apollos? What is Paul? Servants through whom you came to believe, as the Lord assigned to each. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who gives the growth. The one who plants and the one who waters have a common purpose, and each will receive wages according to the labor of each. For we are God's servants working together. You are God's field, God's building, According to the grace God gave to me, like a skilled master builder, I laid a foundation, and someone else is building on it. Each builder must choose with care how to build on it, for no one can lay any foundation other than the one that has been laid. That foundation is Jesus Christ. Now, if anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, the work of each builder will become visible, for the day will disclose it, because it will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test what sort of work each has done. If what has been built on the foundation survives, the builder will receive a reward. If the work is burned up, the builder will suffer loss. The builder will be saved, but only as through fire. Here ends the reading of the epistle. Our focus text today is verse 13. The work of each builder will become visible, for the day will disclose it, because it will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test what sort of work each has done. Imagine now that God is speaking these words to you. So much is done in my name that has very little to do with me and my purposes in this world. Much energy is spent doing religious activities that will count for nothing in the end. If you are not listening to my direction, your work will not endure, no matter how successful it looks now. You are called to be my disciple. Are you asking for my guidance each day about what to do and how to do it? 
Is what you are doing for your glory, or is it for mine? If you work for yourself, you have your reward. But if you truly work for me by walking with me, your reward will be great in heaven. Now it's your turn. What do you think about today's scripture? How is God's word moving you to think today? We encourage you to write your own prayer in the comments below the video. Also, place your prayer on your church's special prayer board so that others may see it. Your entry can be just a few words, a sentence, or a paragraph, depending on how the Spirit moves you. For those commenting here on YouTube, we will randomly select a winner from all the entries received during Lent to win a gift card prize. Thank you for joining us during this prayerful season of Lent. Tune in again tomorrow for another reflection and join us on Sunday at any one of our PCUSA congregations.